Hey everyone, it's me, Alex, and everyone's favourite bird, Archie. <laughs> If you saw my video about negative reviews, you might remember I was just a little bit upset that Jacqueline was saying that negative reviews are not a thing. You know, she was really, really adamant that influencers do not get paid to make negative reviews. She's like, this is not a thing. It's not a thing. Well, I think I understand why Jacqueline doesn't believe in negative reviews now, because uh, I left a little bit of a negative review for the Vault Collection on the Morphe website and it conveniently vanished. No wonder she thinks negative reviews aren't a thing. <laughs> On the video of mine where I was talking about Jaclyn Hill, a lot of people were leaving comments and saying that they had purchased the Vault Collection and their negative reviews were disappearing. After my initial experience with the Vault Collection, which is when I first played with Bling Boss and I was horrified by how terrible it was, I went and wrote a review and I was very kind I didn't swear, I didn't say anything that could possibly have been deemed inappropriate. I just said, I am not happy with this palette. I found the shades to be inconsistent and patchy and they weren't as pigmented as I thought that they would be. And I pressed post, I think I gave it one star or two stars, I can't remember. I pressed post and it disappeared immediately. And sorry, Archie's sneezing. He's sneezing because I sprayed some setting spray in here before and I think it's making him sneeze. I just find it weird that as someone that has actually used it and I was really unhappy, they're removing people's opinions. It's like they don't want people to know just how unhappy people are with it. Now I do have the second version. I bought it on the official launch of the second version. It should have all been fixed by this point, but it, it, it's so inconsistent. So hang around and watch and you'll see. But I did pick up the Master Face collection as well, so I'll be using some of those brushes today. And then of course I have all four from the vault. That's what I'm wearing at the moment. I followed Jacqueline's tutorial where she, it's like the very first vault collection tutorial that she posted. I followed that step by step to get this look. For what you're paying and the amount of hype that she generated about the palette, you know, saying that it was going to be incredible and buttery and smooth and creamy and pigmented and... It, I mean, look, just, just hang around, just watch. You'll see. I'm going in with the Ring the Alarm palette right here. I'm gonna start off with the shade Rush. She's starting off with Rush. So I have here the Master Collection. So, uh, yes, there's a gigantic, oh, sorry, mate. There's a gigantic sign that says Made in China in really, really big font, that's great. My very first thought was, when I watched her applying it, it does look a bit more pigmented for her than what it does for me. And she has quite tanned skin, so I would guess that the colors would show up a bit better on my extremely pale skin, but it's not really showing up at all. And I, I wasn't very light-handed, like I've dipped in, you know, I'm, I'm covering the brush. I'll just tap off the excess. Um, it definitely doesn't look as pigmented as it does for her. Maybe it's because I'm using the wrong brush. Like I, I just picked a brush that looked somewhat similar to the one that she's using. But yeah, I could be using the wrong brush and maybe because of the hairs on the brush, maybe it's distributing the color differently. So I'll give it the benefit of the doubt for now. I'm not gonna pass judgment just yet. Maybe, okay, I'll just show you. I'll go in a little bit heavier. Okay, that kind of helped when I went in a little bit heavier on the palette and I didn't tap off the excess, that helped. Okay, so she said that she was taking the shade Access from Armed and Gorgeous and it looks as though she's gone in with exactly the same brush that she started with and she said she's just taking it and then just putting it right over the top but she's hardly using any. She said she's tapping off all of the excess so the brush hardly has anything on it and then she's just putting it over the top. So I'll do that. It's just going to help that whole ombre effect on the eye so that everything looks so blended when we're done. Okay, so next she's gone back to Ring the Alarm and she's taking the shade Mugshot, which is this one right here. A little bit goes a long way. You do not need to like swirl your brush in there, like just a like a She just said with this palette, a little bit goes a long way. You do not need to swirl your brush in it. It looked like she's just saying to basically just tap it into the shade and then you should be able to use it like that. So we'll see.
maybe? That isn't coming off at all. I'm very tempted to swirl, but we'll see. Her shade Mugshot looks way, way darker for her than it does for me. If you know more about eyeshadows than I do and you know why this might be happening, I I'm trying to give it the benefit of the doubt. I, I don't want to just immediately blame it on the formula because I mean, I've seen so many terrible things on the internet, you know, bagging out the formula and all this sort of thing and saying that it's shocking. I don't want to just have that in my head that other people are saying it's shocking. So I'm like, oh yeah, 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 it's shocking. Like it's, it's not working because it's shocking. I want to try and give it the benefit of the doubt. It is not coming across anywhere near as pigmented for me as it is for her on camera. So is it the brush that I'm using? Am I not going heavy handed enough? She did specifically say you shouldn't have to swirl your brush, you should just tap it. So she said that. So I'm just trying to do what she's saying and it is not coming off the way that it's coming off for her. I've gone in about four times now. I've dipped into the palette, done it once, dipped in again, done it again, dipped in again. I've done it four or five times and now I'm starting to get some good decent pigmentation out of it. So maybe she's also just really layered it up and maybe that's why it's looking very pigmented for her. Okay, so moving on, looks like she's picking up the uh, Bling Boss palette. Now, this is the only palette prior to this video that I had used and I hate this palette. By far, I think it's the worst. Uh, particularly the two most disappointing shades are Berry Treasure and Bling Bling. Berry Treasure in the pan, it looks like a shimmery purple berry color, but when you swatch it, it's just matte black. There's no shimmer, there's no purple, it's really strange, it doesn't look anywhere near what it looks like in the pan. And the shade Bling Bling, I have tried everything physically possible to get a result out of this color. I have tried with my finger, dry finger, damp finger, dry brush, wet brush, fix plus, everything. I have tried everything and no color comes off whatsoever. It's like as though, you know, maybe if you like had a some sort of shadow that you left out with a lid off for like a month and it dried out. That's... Uh, <laughs> I feel like Morphe's just left this out in the open for a month and it's just dried down because nothing comes off it. It is really weird. So I'm interested to see what colours that she, she uses now. I hope she doesn't use either of those two colours. I'm gonna grab the shade Sparks, which is this gorgeous... Sparks. And it looks like she mixes it with Alert up here from Ring the Alarm. So I guess that she just dips into one and dips into the other. She puts it straight over the top and it looks really red, like really, really red. Let's see. Maybe I've just mixed it in the wrong quantities. I just did a tap into Sparks and a tap into Alert, but hers looks really, really red. So maybe she's dipped into this Sparks shade a bit more than she dipped into Alert. Stop it. Okay, it, I don't understand. It's looking really red for her. It's just looking kind of brown for me. Again, it could just be because I'm like she said she's mixing these two shades. Maybe she's just mixing them differently to how I am, maybe? Okay, so she goes back to the shade Access. Okay, so she's taking Tarte Shape Tape in light and a synthetic flat brush. G'day, can I help you? All right, so the closest brush that I can find in her set is the JH41. Kind of looks similar to the brush that she's using to cut her crease. Okay, so she just really concentrates it right in the inner corner and then just kind of like feathers it out. I can't, I can't get a sharp enough line with this. It's uh, it's not the right sort of brush, so. Yeah, no, there's, there's nothing here of hers, so I'll have to use one of my own. Okay, so then she's taking the shade on camera from Ring the Alarm, which is this gold shade here, and she said she's gonna pack it over the top of the concealer. Okay, so she takes Fix Plus, and she said that she dips into on camera first, and then she puts on the Fix Plus, so I'll just get some. Okay, Fix Plus. Uh, how much does she put? Give it a little spritzy just, pie. Just a little spritzy pie, she says. Okay. Okay. 
Okay, let me try again. Let me just watch a bit more. Wow! What I am seeing on the screen looks nothing like what just happened. Is it the brush? Am I using the wrong sort of brush? Like, please tell me, am I an idiot? I don't... Uh, I have no idea. Is this the right one? Hang on, let me try and go in a little bit harder. Okay, that was really hard what I did just then. I like really pushed into it. Fix plus. I, I don't understand. Hers looks insane. Like hers literally looks like beams of sunlight. What am I doing wrong? Okay, I'll try and go in harder again. I'll, I'll really try and coat it. Okay, like it's it's really coated now. A little spritz. One more try. I guess. Now remember before she was like, oh, you don't have to, you don't have to swirl. You should just be able to pat. I haven't experienced that once with any of these shades. I have, I've had to swirl them. So I'll try now for the other eye. So I really go in there. Okay. I really went in. <laughs> Fix plus. Okay. One more try. Okay, I'm not gonna spend any more time trying to do that. I'll see what she does next. So it looks like she's picking up this shade, Secret, from Ring the Alarm. So I'm just gonna go like a little and just combine those two. Okay, so what she did just then, she took the brush and she goes, I'm gonna do a little and a little That's what she did. Like, you guys saw her, it was a little Just cause I don't want this to be just like brown and gold. Like I want it to have like that richness, you know? Okay, I, I suppose that her brr is different to my brr, so uh, ah! <laughs> let me try another brr. Okay, hers looks so dark, and mine does not. Shadows are so grinny! I'm obsessed! Even Archie knows she's full of it. Just lightly stamping. She said lightly stamping. She said she's lightly stamping. Oh man, oh gosh. Ooh, this is patchy as heck. Maybe I'm just using the wrong brushes. That, that could just be, maybe that's the problem with all of this. She's using specific Morphe brushes. I'm trying to find similar brushes but they're not exactly the same, so that could be what the problem is. And I'm just going back in with that gold, we're just gonna lightly stamp that. Like, I'm doing this so lightly. Did you hear that? She said, we're going back in with the gold, and we're going to lightly stamp it. And she said, so lightly. I mean, I'm, I'm doing it so lightly, but nothing's happening. Okay, I'm finding this gold is getting really, really cakey now. I've had to go on with so many layers to try and get that nice metallic look like what hers is, and it's getting really cakey. So she then takes this shade Boom from uh, Ring the Alarm, and she's putting it on the center, so kind of in between that dark shade and the gold. So she said she's using exactly the same brush that she used for the gold. She didn't say that she used Fix Plus that time. She said that she just went in and now she's going on, so we'll see. Okay, nothing. Mm, kind of. Okay, there, three layers. But for her, she did it once and she got the color payoff immediately. She said that she was lightly doing it. There's hardly any color coming off of me, so I'll, I'll try with a bit of Fix Plus. Spritz it. Okay, 
I don't know. I don't know if I'm doing it wrong, but it it does not look like for her. It looks really rich and bronze, coppery, beautiful. If I kind of tilt my head at a certain angle, I can see a little bit of a metallic color, kind of. But there's not much at all. So what she said, she's taking the shade Lolly, which is this one here. She said she used exactly the same brush. And she picked it up on the brush with a bit of Fix Plus and then she's putting it where the two shades meet. Fix Plus. Okay, I can definitely, definitely see that one as opposed to those other shades that I couldn't really see until I really packed them on. This is the first one that when I tapped it and did a bit of Fix Plus, I can actually see the shade. Oh my goodness. This is so weird. Can you guys see that on camera? I don't know if you'll be able to see, but when I look at myself in the mirror, I can see that shade, that lolly shade, is really popping. Like it's, that is what I was expecting those other colors to look like. And for her, they all look like they're a similar level of metallic, like, pow, you know? But for me, it's like dull, pow, dull. Like that is the only one that had any oomph to it. So that is really strange. Okay, so she said that she's going into Mugshot and she said these are very pig pigmented. She said the amount of product that I'm using is so little. So I'll see, I'll see if it's the same. So she's using like a pencil brush. So I'm using her JH38. Okay, that shade's nice. I Like she said, she just tapped into it lightly. That's what I did, just a really light tap, like a one tap. And now I'm just going on the bottom lash line and it does look like it's very pigmented. Like compared to some of these other shades that I've tried so far, I do think that that's worked out probably the most pigmented, I would say. And she took the shades Rush and Access, which are these two, Rush and Access. So she mixed them and she's just buffing it all along the lower lash line. So I'll give that a try. A fair bit of fallout from those two shades. Once again, it could just be because of the brush that I'm using or maybe she just has a heavier hand than I do. But she does keep emphasizing that she's only going in lightly. So I'm just tapping like I normally would. Uh, and it doesn't seem to be quite as pigmented as hers, but it is still quite nice. I don't normally do any sort of blown out lower lash ever. I don't really like the look of it, but I'm trying to be as accurate as I can to her tutorial today. So giving it a go, it, it is blending out quite nicely. I'll definitely give it that. These shades have blended out very well. They're not patchy, but they're just not as dark or as pigmented as hers. So then she takes a stiff brush. I'm using one from her collection, which is the JH43. This is a very, very flat, stiff brush. And she goes into the shade Framed from Ring the Alarm. And she's just tapped into it like this. And she's putting it really, really close to her lower lash line, like on top of her lashes. Okay, I do kind of feel like hers is looking quite dark, a lot more so than mine. I'm using the same shade, but it's not coming across as dark as it looks on her. It looks really, really dark. But for me, it's it's like, it's there, but it's not really any sort of pow, you know? <laughs> now I'm using her JH37, and she's gone into that shade Alert, which is this one. And she's just blending it out for, from the purple to really sort of smoke out the purple shade. This isn't really doing very much at all, as far as I'm concerned. Like it's, it is definitely softening that line a bit and smoking it out, but I'm not finding the shade to be very pigmented. I did take it very lightly and I don't think it was meant to be applied very heavily. It's just meant to be smoking out that color, but it just looks really different to how she's done it. Now, the next thing that she dives into is her original Jaclyn Hill palette, which I also bought. I actually bought this after I bought the vault. I've never tried this. It's never been touched once. Uh, I bought it because I realized that she seems to refer to it a lot in these tutorials. So I was like, oh, I, I better get it. Like everyone thinks it's a staple. So she's taking those two shades and I think she's using it for a highlight. I'm just gonna use her JH42 brush to do this brow bone highlight. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Gee, that's nice. I hardly touched those two shades from that original palette. Hardly touched it at all. And there's this beautiful, beautiful bright color coming off, like a really good payoff. Okay, those shades were lovely. That was really, really easy to use. So, you know, I've only tried those two, obviously from this palette, but I have heard so many good things about this palette. So I'm excited to actually use all of those. Uh, and it looks like now 
she's gone into Armed and Gorgeous and she's using the shade VIP to just go over the top of that. So I'll just dip in like this. Okay, nothing came off. So the original one, I tapped it so lightly and I got this beautiful highlight shade. But this one, I'm going in again and I'm doing this, you know, and it's not coming off the same as that original palette. And it's funny because when she was marketing this whole vault collection, she kept saying, you know, it's going to be the same beautiful buttery formula that you loved from the original palette. But it's not. <laughs> it's definitely not. Okay, so she just puts liner on her waterline, so I'm going to do that now, and then she puts on some lashes. So I'll do that quickly. I don't need to show you that because I am shocking at doing both of those things. So we'll just get that over and done with. Okay, so the look is almost complete. The only thing that she does after this point, she does some more face makeup and she drowns her face in the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. So I did pick that up as well. I am not such a fan of this because my one is actually buggered. Like nothing, when I press it, oh, it, it won't <laughs> spray properly. It's really weird. So uh, sensitive boys with sensitive lungs have to go away. And then she uses like a fancy fan <laughs> to dry it all down, but I guess I can use Archie's wings. Look, I gotta give Jacqueline this. She is damn good at giving tutorials, like far out. She was so, so thorough, like she explained everything so well. I am hopeless with makeup, but you know what? It doesn't look too bad. Like I feel like I was able to follow her instructions. She made it really, really easy to understand. She didn't go too far, she didn't talk too fast, she was very, very thorough, she didn't leave anything to the imagination. So in terms of her tutorial style, I give that an A+. The palettes, I am... Eh. You know, like, eh. I'll just give you guys a bit of a close-up. My eyelashes are really, really wonky, so please forgive me. But have a look at the shadows. I do think that they looked a lot deeper and richer in her video. But, I mean, overall, it's okay. But if I had the opportunity to swatch this palette in store, I mean, obviously there's no Morphe store in Australia, so I couldn't. But if I had been able to swatch these colors in store, I would probably not have purchased the palette just because of the fact that it just doesn't look anywhere near as pigmented as I thought that it was going to be. I do feel as though I have used better palettes than this that didn't cost as much. This was kind of expensive. I mean, sorry mate, you sneezing because of the setting spray. I felt like this was a little bit expensive, but also considering you get four palettes in the set, it's it's kind of good value if all of the shades work. Ring the Alarm, for example. The shades that we used, Lolly, which is the first one, that was great. Rush was all right. On Camera was useless. Boom was useless. Alert was okay. I used Secret and Framed, which were nowhere near as dark as they looked on her face. Mugshot was pretty good. And then I didn't use the other two, so Bomb Ass and Siren, so I can swatch those. Uh, but that palette, that was like 50% of it I enjoyed and thought it was alright, but the other 50% I was like, yeah, no, next. <laughs> Bling Boss is just, I just hate it. I hate all of the shades. I'll show you a swatch. There might be two that, that are okay, like just okay, but this is the biggest waste of money, this particular palette. Hated it. This one, uh, Armed and Gorgeous, I didn't use very many shades from this, but I'll tell you what I am interested in trying is the shade Top Secret. The only palette that she didn't get around to in this tutorial was the Dark Magic palette, which is uh, Archie's favorite palette because it does have green colors in it. And the particular green color that I'm interested in is this one at the bottom here called Potion. See that one where Archie's looking, that one? So there's a video, I'll put it up here. Now, I can't remember the person's name, but here it is here, this is her video, where she did like a side-by-side -side comparison where she tried it alongside Jacqueline trying it. And I'm gonna give it a go too. So let's have all three of us trying it out. So I'm pretty sure what they did, they, they took a clean brush, they dipped into it like this, and then she puts out her arm and she goes, I'll try again, I'll do another dip in. Okay. 
Okay, well, I didn't have as bad a, a experience as what the Twitter user had. I definitely, it wasn't that bad. Her swatch looked way worse than mine, but mine still doesn't look anywhere near as nice as Jacqueline's, like nowhere near. And there's a whole bunch of kickback in the palette, like fall out everywhere. I'll put the swatches up on the screen so you can see. I was not very impressed with Bling Boss at all. I thought this entire palette was a, a complete write-off. I feel like Dark Magic is again kind of hit and miss. Some of these shades are okay. Also Armed and Gorgeous, again I find that some of these are a little bit patchy and some of them are okay. And then Ring the Alarm is probably one of the worst because as you can see, the sort of metallic-y shades, they just, they just did not work at all. So there you have it guys. If you have purchased the Vault Collection or any of the individual palettes and you weren't happy and you tried to leave a review on the Morphe website and they removed your review, please let me know down below. I would love to see just how many people have experienced that. With that, Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you liked this video. I definitely think that if you are a Jacqueline supporter, then by all means go for it. You'll be happy with some of the shades. I think if you're just a makeup lover and you're looking for a really nice makeup collection to make some really nice looks with, I think that you could invest that money elsewhere. Maybe buy American made products. These are all made in China, like I said. So with that, thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you next time. Mwah!